two dollar bills laying around. And perfect timing, Christmas shopping. For there sure. We go. For sure. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about what I'm going to spend on myself, though. If I have that money. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> uh, where we're back with another edition of Weather Kids. Yeah, and this week's experiment, Reese Cole is showing us how to make frost. Hi, meteorologist Reese Cole back with another Weather Kids. This time we're at South Olive Christian School with Mrs. Moderts and Mrs. Eisenberg's second and third grade class. We have a couple students here and we are going to be making some frost this evening. Something you can do quickly at home as well. You just need a mason jar filled up to the top with some ice. We also have some salt, some food coloring to distinguish the ice from the frost that we're going to be making, as well as just a little bit of water. So starting with these jars of ice, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to each and every one of these. We'll do about two scoops each. The salt with the ice allows for the salt, or excuse me, allows for the ice to have a lower freezing point. So this will allow for the frost to form on the edge of the jar. Now you can hear it crackling a little bit. That salt is mixing with the ice. We'll fill up a little bit with water. And to go ahead and put the lid on it. And go ahead and close the lid and give it a real good shake. Yep, like that. Shake it really, there you go. Keep shaking it. If you get tired, I can help. So the shaking of this allows for the salt and the ice and the water to all mix. You can, your hands getting cold? That's that frost getting ready to form on the edge of the jar already. <laughs> Here, I can do it for you if you need me to. Got it? <laughs> Is it really cold? Yeah. So you're going to start to see the condensation form. You see that forming on top? Go ahead and rub your, run your finger on the top. You can already see the condensation forming. That's eventually going to turn to ice and ice crystals. So here, we'll give it a really good shake. Oh, I feel it. I feel it forming on this one a lot. You can see the edges are really starting to form on that. So now everybody open them up real quick. We're going to add a little bit of dye. Freezing on there, isn't it? Just a couple of drops. Oh, this is really, there we go. All right, now go ahead and put the lid back on. And now we'll be able to really distinguish between the frost and the ice as you shake it a little bit more. Looks like Kool-Aid, doesn't it? So now you can see on the edge here, you see that frost? Uh -huh. The frost is, is pick stuff? the frost picking up on the edge of these containers. You can feel it too if you run your nail There's down it. Stuff. You can see that frost on the edge, the frost on top. Oh, it's freezing. Yeah, it is really yeah. cold, but there's ice crystals forming on the top of that. So that's how frost is made. When you get a lower freezing point, we're able to make our own frost. It's like making snow. And it'll just continue to form on this as the ice continues to mix with that salt and eventually it would make a whole